channel. In this video, I discuss principles of bright field microscopy, dark field microscopy, and phase contrast microscopy. The illuminating difference are the key differences in this type of microscopy. White light is typically used in this type of microscopy, which produced by the LED bulb and which emit broad spectrum illumination. The primary difference among this microscopy lies in their light source and illuminating technique only, while general principle of microscope remains similar. This is bright field microscopy. Here, this is the light source and the total light source are used in this process. Here, light source is condensed by the condenser lens and focused to the specimen. And from the specimen, uh, this light source passes through the objective lens and which magnify the image and image is produced. To see the histological specimen in this type of microscopy, you need to stain the specimen. But dark field microscopy and face contrast microscopy, you can able to see living cell, so no need of staining is required here. In dark field microscopy, a non-transparent object is placed at the center so only peripheral light are condensed by the condenser line and rest of the procedure same as the bright field microscopy. In phase contrast microscopy, only the intermediate portion is transparent and the peripheral and central portion is covered by non-transparent object. So the portion of the light only pass through the condenser lens and rest of the process is similar. So this is the light source and this is the covering of the light source in dark field microscopy only peripheral light is passed through the condenser lens. This is the covering of the light source. In phase contrast microscopy, you see the central portion and peripheral portion is non-transparent. Only intermediate portion is transparent. And through this transparent portion, light source pass through the condenser lens. So this is the whole light source in bright field microscopy. Here, the central light source is um, blocked by non-transparent object, only peripheral use. And in phase contrast, the central and peripheral light source are blocked by the non-transparent object. Here, staining is required, no staining is required. Dead cell can be visualized. Here, living cell can be observed and background is black due to the uh, blockage of the central light. And specimen are seen by due to the peripheral light pass through it. In phase contrast, the intermediate light source is used, so background is gray and the tissue is also different shade of gray. So this is the dark field microscopy. So no light is passed through this and so it creates black background. And peripheral light source is visualized the specimen. Here phase contrast microscopy only intermediate source of the light is used. So background is gray and the specimen is also created by the different shade of gray. So these are the
covering of the light source in dark field microscopy and phase contrast microscopy and in wide field microscopy no covering of the light source is required so this is the phase contrast microscopy we see a live life cell and its uh, different activity present within the cell this is dark field these are the dark field microscopy this is phase contrast microscope so this is all about today's presentation if you like this video please press the like button please support my channel by subscribing and who already subscribe my channel thank you Thank you very much.